Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sal Mahajan, and in today's video, we are starting a new series that is related to the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification that has the exam code of CLF. C02. So this is basically a video series wherein I'm going to cover all the topics that we have related to this specified certification. We're going to go through theory concepts, we're going to go through practical concepts, and I hope you guys do like this series. It's going to cover everything and prepare you for the certification. So let's dive right into the first video. We're gonna go over the contents of this video. This is going to be a pretty long series, which I am chunking down into small, small videos. So first we are going to go over the recommended prerequisites, followed by an exam overview. And once we complete these two, um, you know, overview, um, you know, videos, we're gonna dive right into the uh, concepts of the certification. So we're gonna cover cloud concepts, the AWS well-architected framework, the AWS cloud adoption framework, your cloud technology and services, security and compliance. And finally, we are gonna end the course with billing, pricing, and support. So as you can see, we are gonna be covering quite a lot of content. So let's dive right with our first topic that is the recommended prerequisites for this certification. So the recommended prerequisites for the certification is that, you know, you do not need to have any AWS knowledge or experience. If you're someone who does not have much of knowledge related to the cloud, like you don't know what the cloud is, that's also fine. If you have some knowledge related to other cloud providers out there, that could be like Google or Microsoft Azure, that's also completely fine, but you do not need to have any AWS knowledge or experience to give this certification or start your preparation for this certification. Of course, you do need to have some knowledge related to IT. You should know what are servers, what are databases, some networking concepts, and you know your basic IT knowledge. And finally, of course, with all certifications, you should have the willingness to learn. You should be willing to learn and you know um, study well for this certification. Moving on, we're gonna dive right into the exam overview. So we're gonna take a quick um, you know, glance over the examination. So the exam is called the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. It is considered to be a foundational level course, which is basically an entry level course that anyone could give, be it you have AWS knowledge you do not have AWS knowledge or you have any other cloud knowledge. This exam has a duration of 90 minutes and the exam format is 65 questions, out of which 15 questions are going to be unscored and 50 questions will be scored. These are, uh, uh, so basically your score is really gonna all depend on these 50 scored questions. Your exam type is gonna be multiple choice or multiple response. Multiple choice basically means you will be given multiple choices and out of that any one will be correct. And multiple responses wherein you will be given multiple answers out of which two or more answers are correct. The cost for this examination is $100. Again, this is for um, USD. Your exam price may change according to your country. And you have two ways how you can give this exam. Either you can give it online from the comfort of your home or you can give it at a testing center. So according to your comfort options, you can go with either online, that is at home, um, or you can, uh, of course, go to a testing center and give the exam. Most of the folks really prefer to give the online exam because you give it from the comfort of your home. Moving on, this exam is offered in multiple languages. As you can see over here, you have English, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and much, much more. Your target group is basically everyone and everyone. As we discussed previously, really anyone can give this certification. The scoring scale for this certification is from uh, 100 to 1000 and the passing requirements is 700. So you basically need 700 points or 700 marks out of 1000 to pass this certification. Now another thing many folks you know say that you know if 700 out of 1000 basically means 70 percent so I need to score 70 percent marks or I need to get 70 percent of my questions correct. That's not what it means. 700 does not mean 70 percent. So you know when you're doing your math you're like okay we have 50 questions I need to get X amount of you know questions correct to pass that's not how it is each question has a different weightage according to its difficulty so easy questions would have a less weightage and difficult questions do have more weightage 
Now, moving on, we are going to take a look into the um, domains that we have for this exam. And this is going to be the last overview that we have. Um, so there are basically four main domains that you have. Uh, first being cloud concepts, then you have security and compliance, cloud technology and services, and billing, pricing, and support. Now, if you give if you guys did watch the content uh, part, um, you know, the starting part of this video, you will see that these names are repetitive because I have based this, you know, um, course off the domains that we have. So Cloud Concepts basically has a weightage of 24%. So 24% of the questions that you see on the exam will be from Cloud Concepts. It basically covers things like, you know, what's the value of cloud computing? What is global infrastructure, the well-architected framework, and how do you migrate resources from your own on-prem service to the cloud and also some cloud ec uh, economics. Second domain is your security and compliance, which has about 30% weightage. weightage. This is the second highest weightage that you see in the exam. It talks about your shared responsibility, your identity and access, your encryption, governance, and auditing. Third being your cloud technology and services that has a weightage of 34%. This is the highest weightage that you have. And I always re recommend everyone to pay a good amount of attention to this because it is really easy to score these 34% um, you know, questions. You're going to cover you know, your core uh, services that you have related to AWS, that is your compute services, your networking services, your storage, your database, um, serverless, analytics, and much, much more. Now, when it comes to cloud technology and services, we will also be covering a couple of services that may not appear in the certification. And the reason behind that is I would like to provide you guys with an holistic training or a holistic course wherein you learn actually more than what the certification is going to ask you about. And the final, the fourth domain that we have is your billing, pricing, and support, which has a weightage of 12%. Here, you're going to cover concepts like pricing models. You know, how does the pricing take place on the cloud? What's your cost visibility? How do you look at your costs, budgets, and of course, your support plans in case you run into any issues on the AWS platform. So guys, this was a quick overview related to the examination. Um, we went over the domains that you have. We covered about about, you know um, how long the exam is the number of questions that you have what are some of the prerequisites for this um, certification and um, in our uh, in our next video we are going to actually dive right into our cloud concepts um, so that's going to be our first domain which has the 24 percent uh, weightage so i hope you guys did like this video if you did please make sure to leave a like do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover i hope you guys have a great day ahead see ya Take care. Bye-bye.